Hey guys, so 2016 started off as a good year for Samsung as they launched the awesome Galaxy S7 with amazing camera, hardware, display, I mean everything was perfect and well appreciated. Then Samsung released the Galaxy Note 7 which was even better with S Pen, iris scanner, USB-C, crazy good display, new Grace UI. It was pretty much the best phone of the year. I even myself personally used it for about one month uh, but then it started to explode and explode and explode until Samsung finally did discontinued it and I had to bury mine under a tree a true rest in peace but that's past and now we are looking at the future which is the Galaxy S8 aka the savior the beast and here are its top 10 upcoming features based on the latest reports. Number 10, iris scanner. So this feature made its debut on the Galaxy Note 7. Uh, this basically enhances your phone security and is programmed to recognize the pattern in your iris. So you can unlock your phone using your eyes and it was surprisingly fast and accurate on the Note 7 and we'll surely going to see it again on the Galaxy S8. Number 9, Advanced 3D Touch. Now, according to the recent report, Samsung is about to bring 3D Touch or Force Touch tech to its Galaxy S8. Uh, with it, uh, you can press deeply to launch actions, shortcuts without launching the actual applications, and basically it gets things done much faster. You're gonna notice this on daily basis, uh, how your usage will become more efficient, and it will work with system and third-party apps as well. Number 8, New Assistant. Not to be outdone by Google and Apple, Samsung Samsung is bringing its own digital AI assistant to the Galaxy S8 named Big Spy and female version named Kestra, kinda related to Star Trek, basically it would combine the conversational language and integration with third party services to perform tasks, dictate messages and respond to quick questions on demand and stuff like that. It's rumored that there will be a separate hardware button on the device which you can press to launch it and set custom actions. It will also work with Samsung's wearables such as the new Gear S3 watch and many more to come. Um... Number 7 Storage. The Galaxy S7 family brought back the SD card slot that was dropped with the Galaxy S6 but the internal storage got limited only to 32 gigs which is ridiculous since almost 8 gigs is occupied by Android software so this time the Galaxy S8 will be available in a 256 gigabyte storage option with micro SD card slot. Yeah that's basically amazing since you can add up to 200 gigabyte size of SD card so one thing is sure that storage won't be a problem on the next big thing. Number 6 stereo speakers. The Galaxy S8 will be powered by high end Harman powered speakers. Yes this is indeed happening as Samsung recently acquired Harman for 8 billion dollars so for all those music lovers you're gonna love this. Number 5 camera. So we have heard this in the past that Samsung is going for a dual camera sensor for the Galaxy S8. Uh, we have seen this on Huawei, Apple and LG phone and some other Chinese phones. And now it seems like Samsung is about to bring this with the Galaxy S8 as it will allow for DSLR quality pictures, better performance with color reproduction etc. Now this dual camera sensor may only be exclusive to the Galaxy S8 Edge Plus or you can say the bigger version of the S8. Since the inside sources claims that there will be no dual camera sensor on the main model. So Samsung wants to make the bigger variant better not just with the battery and bigger screen size but camera as well. Also the front facing camera is coming with autofocus abilities that allow you to take better selfies for them snapchat and insta stories. Number 4 the fastest beast on the planet. The Galaxy S8 will be coming with Qualcomm's latest Snapdragon 835 processor with 6 gigs of RAM uh, for the base model and possibly 8 gigs of RAM for the 256 gigabyte model. Now in early benchmarks, Snapdragon 835 recently scored 1,81,434 on Antutu which beats the previous record of Apple's A10 chipset at 1,72,644. Number 3, Optical Fingerprint Scanner. This feature really tells us that future is here. We have heard about this a lot over the past month that the fingerprint scanner will be embedded into the display itself so that you can put your finger on the display anywhere to unlock your phone instead of putting it on a hardware button. According to Samable.com, the optical recognition is both faster and more accurate than the current technology we have on our devices. So like I said, it's truly the future. Number two, bezel-less display. 
2017 will be a year of smartphone redesign. Apple is going to be doing it with their iPhone 8 and Samsung is making the already crazy good edge display bezel-less. Yes, with our 90 plus screen to body ratio, the display sizes will be pushed to 5.7 and 6.2 inches and it will be same in size as the last year's Galaxy S7 and the S7s. So increasing the display without increasing the phone size itself, which is simply amazing. Also, they are killing the pentile diamond pixel arrangement in favor of the traditional RGB color arrangement. This will make the screen appear more detailed while retaining the same 1440p resolution. There is still a slight chance that we might see a 4K resolution display, uh, which is great for VR, but Quad HD is more than enough since we can't see differences in daily real life usage. And number one, new design. According to Samable.com, it's been exclusively confirmed that the Galaxy S8 won't be having a 3.5mm headphone jack and a physical home button since Samsung wants to bring some huge design changes such as full screen bezel-less display, thinner form factor, a bigger battery, optical fingerprint scanners, stereo speakers. It's been in multiple reports that this flagship will be different than any other flagship we have seen before from Samsung. We all know that this is a huge decision and I don't mind it since I use iPhone 7 Plus as my main phone and it's not that bad as it seems like you get used to it after some time but I really expect something awesome from Samsung in exchange for ditching the headphone jack. So yeah, I'm super excited, super pumped up for the Galaxy S8, the most anticipated phone of the year. Let me know your thoughts. Uh, what's your favorite feature of them all? Are you excited? Uh, do you want something else uh, to have on the S8? Let me know in the comment section below and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.